Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Discourse with Dobson. I'm your host, Mr. Dobson, and today we're playing a game called Kind Words, Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Write To. This game is interesting. Uh, I picked it up on the Steam sale, which is currently going on right now. I think this game is like $4.50, $5 Canadian, which is pretty sweet. And this game is essentially about writing kind letters or kind words to people who have requests for those words. Let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We press start and it brings us to our room. And there's a menu here on the right hand side. And the menu says view requests. So you can pick a request and it gives you their request for kind words. So let's maybe scroll through a few of these and try to find one or two that we could potentially help answer. So this letter says, there's this girl I really like, but I've confessed to her twice via WhatsApp. She said she has a boyfriend already and therefore isn't interested. And this was over a year ago. What do I do? Do I just leave her alone or do I try to speak to her in person? I don't want to bother her. A. Let's see if we can provide some kind words for this person. Okay. So, we'll start with Dear A. So if you're watching Discourse for with Dobson for the first time, <laughs> Discourse for Dobson. If you're watching Discourse with Dobson for the first time, um, just know that I'm a teacher and that the advice that I'm going to try to give is based off of my own judgment. It's based off of my own understanding of mental health. Uh, I'm not a licensed practitioner of mental health. I have take, taken courses, but um, I'm not someone who you should rely on solely for advice. It's just advice from a teacher, okay? So from my understanding, this person has a romantic interest in this person and over a year ago, she said that she already has a boyfriend and isn't interested. Um, there's a few things that we don't know about this situation. So my advice is gonna be quite generic. For example, we don't know whether or not these person or these people live close to one another. We don't know what their history is like. We don't know if this girl is still dating her boyfriend and there's just a general lack of information on my part. So I'm going to provide some advice, I think, to A in the sense that I want them to feel comfortable with who they are as a person, but I also want them to be able to respect someone else's personal privacy. So we'll start with something like this. Relationships are tricky. So relationships are tricky. There are sometimes good opportunities to begin new friendships or dating experiences, but at other times there are boundaries and distance we must hold for respect and kindness. I do not know much about your situation, but I would say that you must make a judgment call about whether or not you think the relationship is feasible. Even so, please remember to give someone distance if they are asking for it. Good luck. One thing that you have to understand about this game, kind words, is that all of the requests for kind words are from real people. These are all actual people submitting requests 
And as such, the game warns you about um, the possibility that you're getting advice from other people that isn't necessarily sound. They could be a troll, they could be mean or rude. But I think that this general advice is good in the sense that I'm telling them that they have to make a judgment call about whether or not the situation is right for them. And in addition, they also have to consider the fact that they're dealing with another person on the other side of the relationship. They need to give that person respect. They need to respect the boundary between them if it's not something that's going to happen. You can also add a sticker, which I think is kind of cool. And there is a word limit. You have 14 lines to write. Um, I'm not going to add a sticker. We're just going to send the letter out. So our, our mail carrier, Deer, brings the letter to that person, and they will eventually get that letter. Oh hey, I discovered Connector 1 this morning. I was a bit stressed about some things, but I put this on loop, and it washed all that away. Hopefully I'll have another sweet track for you tomorrow. The other cool thing is you get new, like, lo-fi indie music each day added to your radio. So if you come over here and you click the radio, you can change the music and the effects and you can skip tracks from next to previous. So that's kind of cool. And you can also mute it if you if you don't want to listen to the game's music and you can kind of listen to your own music. Let's take a look at another request. This really helped a lot of people before, so tell me something you want to get off of your chest. Anything. Unload your baggage here with zero judgment. You got this. B. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You can also skip a letter. You don't have to reply to this specific request, but I'm going to reply to this, and maybe I'm going to reveal something here to all of you that I never have before, or I've said it as like a joke, but it does mean a lot to me. Let's see. So, dear B. Dear B, I am a substitute teacher, and it has been my dream for a long time to be involved in the education system. One day, I hope to have my own set of classes where I can build lasting relationships with my own students instead of substitute teaching every day of the week. I hope that someday I'm able to leave a lasting mark on a student's life and that they will look to me as someone that they can respect and trust. Thank you. So we're just gonna, we're gonna send that off to them. That was very nice of them to, to send out that request. We are gonna get requests that sometimes we might not be able to handle or feel comfortable handling. This is true about all of life. You might have a friend or an acquaintance who comes to you with an issue and you don't know exactly how to respond to it in the most appropriate manner. Maybe you don't feel like you know enough about the topic or maybe you feel like your advice wouldn't be good enough. At the end of the day, you can always withhold your judgment or your words in favor of someone else's. If a friend of you yours is giving you very, very critical information about the status of their mental health. You kind of have to make a choice about whether or not you're going to tell someone else. And this can be very tricky. Mainly because the stigma behind mental health has not yet been conquered. People don't treat mental health issues the same as 
an injury, like a broken arm or the flu. Sometimes I'm, I see a request in this game, like this one, and I really have to think hard about whether or not I'm going to reply to it. Because even though I am a teacher, and even though I am someone who, who has had mental health first aid training, I don't want to necessarily give someone the wrong advice, despite them reaching out. But we're going to try here. The letter says, I don't know how to continue with my life. Nothing satisfies me. I can't put my mind in order. F. Okay. Dear F. The fact that you have purchased this game, composed a letter, and are writing it with the intention of receiving some advice from a stranger is real. Life can be insurmountably difficult at times. I can't begin to understand all of your troubles and worries. However, I can be a listening ear for you in this moment. Your feelings are valid, but I would like for you to hold on and keep trying. I know that someday you will find happiness in your growing life. We're going to send this one off. I hope that whoever has requested this and is seeing this for the first time, that it means something and you know that there are people who care about you and that life is challenging it's difficult and hard and it comes with positives and negatives sometimes the negatives outweigh the positives at the time but it's kind of like a roller coaster there's hills and valleys and sometimes you're at the top of a hill and sometimes you're at the bottom of a valley you kind of just have to hold on sometimes and go with the flow let life take you where it will Okay, that's one more letter. Maybe we'll do one more for the video. This guy used to be my best friend. However, we've kind of grown apart. He likes being with me, but to me, it's not fun anymore. I feel like I have to be constantly pretending to be someone else. I tend to avoid him, but I always feel like a horrible person. And. Dear N,
People grow with time. Someone who was once a friend may become an acquaintance who may eventually lose connection with you altogether. This is a natural experience and it will happen to you at other points in your life. You do not need to hide who you are as a person. There are limits to the amount of pretending that you can perform. All I ask is that, given your circumstances, you are open and honest with others and that you treat them with respect. Let's send it off. It's a very interesting game, Kind Words. It really makes you think hard about the fact that you are sending a direct message to someone's request for help, or their request for some advice, or just a listening ear. I highly recommend it. I have only had the game for a day, and it is kind of rewarding to be able to give someone advice knowing that you're giving it to a complete stranger who you might not ever meet, ever on this planet. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Discourse with Dobson. If you like this type of gaming content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I try to be pretty consistent with my upload schedule, but sometimes I lose track. I don't have anything else left for you today. Have a good evening. Mr. Dobson, out.